Hi, welcome to AP Chemistry Daily Topic 1.1, Moles and Molar Mass. I'm Kristen Cacciatore from Charlestown High School in Boston. I'm happy to be here with you. So today we're talking about the relationship between moles and grams and how chemists use molar mass. So molar mass is a way to convert quantities between units of grams or mass and units of count or moles. So what is the relationship between grams and moles? Well, one mole equals the molar mass in grams. But it's important to remember that the molar mass is different for every substance. We say that the molar mass depends on the identity of the substance. So let's take a look at some examples. So a mole of sucrose or C12H22O11 has a mass of 342.3 grams. A mole of sodium chloride has a mass of 58.4 grams. And we can actually write these relationships down as equalities. So what's the mathematical relationship for carbon between moles and mass? Well, here it is in picture number three. One mole of carbon is 12 grams of carbon. So I can write that as an equality. And likewise, I can do the same thing for sodium chloride. One mole, as we said, is 58.4 grams of sodium chloride. So that's the mathematical relationship between moles and mass. You can write one for any substance. All right, so now to convert between moles and mass, we're gonna use conversion factors. So let's talk about what those are for a second. A conversion factor is a ratio or a fraction that represents the relationship between the same quantity in two different units. And there are two possible conversion factors for every equality, and that becomes really important when you're doing problems. So conversion factors can be used to convert an amount from one unit into another unit, and that's generally true. Here, we're talking specifically about converting from moles to grams or grams to moles using conversion factors. So let's take a look at carbon and write some conversion factors between moles and mass for carbon. So what are the conversion factors for the equality we wrote? One mole of carbon equals 12 grams of carbon. Well, one mole of carbon divided by 12 grams of carbon or the inverse, which has 12 grams of carbon in the numerator and one mole of carbon in the denominator. So those are the two conversion factors between moles and grams specifically for carbon. So how do you use them? Well, this is important. When you're converting a known quantity from one unit to another, you're gonna multiply that known quantity by a conversion factor that has the starting units of the known quantity in the denominator. So here's the denominator, right? And you want the starting units to be in the denominator of your conversion factor. So let's look at an example of that. A chemical reaction consumes 0.85 moles of carbon. What mass of carbon is consumed in the reaction? Well, here our starting amount is in units of moles. That means we want a conversion factor that has moles in the denominator. So I wanna choose the one on the right here because one mole of carbon is in the denominator. And now I just need to multiply my starting amount, 0.85 grams, of or 0.85 moles of carbon by my conversion factor and that will give me 10.2 grams of carbon and notice that moles drop out that's the whole point of having the unit in the denominator so let's try a practice a sucrose packet contains four grams of sucrose c12h22o11 you've seen these packets they're everywhere so how many moles of sucrose are in one of those packets Stop your video here and try the problem, and then I'll come back and go through the answer with you. All right, so we've got our sucrose packet, four grams in there. How many moles of sucrose in the packet? So first thing you gotta do is find the molar mass of the substance that you're dealing with. And if you do that, you find the molar mass of sucrose is 342.3 grams per mole. Now you're gonna write a mole mass conversion using 
were, or with grams in the denominator. So here is the one that you want. It's got 342.3 grams, our molar mass in grams in the denominator. And then we have one mole of sucrose in the numerator. And then you're gonna multiply the starting amount of four grams by this conversion factor and your grams will drop out. So we take our four grams of sucrose, we multiply, grams drops out, and we end up with 0.012 moles of sucrose. And notice that I rounded this answer to two significant figures because my starting amount 4.0 grams has two significant figures and that limits my answer. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.